Hey guys, welcome to the channel Adventure Travel and Scuba Thomas here with another camera review. These days everybody is jumping on DJI Osmo Action 4 action camera. I have just received this camera literally yesterday, didn't even open it and I want to go with you with uh, over the contents of this uh, action pack. Here is the Adventure Combo, so it comes with a couple extra pieces. I've been using for couple last couple of years uh, the Insta360 ONE RS cameras. I have uh, all of them. I have the 4K boost mode, uh, one inch mode. That's the what I'm filming it on right now. And I also have the 360 mod that comes with those cameras that I'm using on my motorcycle while I travel. Not only motorcycle, I also use it underwater and a lot of other activities that I do with the families. I decided uh, to give it a shot uh, on the DJI Osmo. It has uh, really nice specs. Uh, it uh, literally just came out. By the time you're gonna see that video, there's gonna be a lot of other videos probably by then. First, I want to show you all the contents, uh, what's in the box, and I will talk a little bit more about all the specs of the camera as well. Uh, I will not be running and comparing it to the Insta360 because there's other videos on that. They're both great cameras, but the DJI Osmo, uh, it's very appealing uh, for a few reasons. Number one, it comes with the nice uh, battery pack uh, that you can, and it quickly charges. It also has a way longer battery life. Still photography, I still think, that uh, the Insta360 has uh, 48 megapixels versus I believe it's uh, 10 megapixels but I will confirm that in a moment on, uh, in, on uh, DJI Osmo 4. So let's crack this box open first. I should have brought my knife. I'm pretty curious to see firsthand what we get here. So you get two boxes and you also get a selfie stick. So let's maybe start with this thing. How does it look comparing to the Insta360 stick? Yeah, it's, it's got very similar feel to the Insta360, but I got a short, shorter one from Insta360. And uh, with the tripod on the bottom, that's a good addition. Definitely will be used. So that comes with the Adventure Combo. It doesn't come with the standalone camera. So we'll put that aside and we'll check what's in the next box. This is the actual action camera. So first package, we got a couple thumb screws, a mount and a sticky mount and a cage for the camera itself. Of course, they gotta load it up with all the plastics to peel. So the thumb screws are slightly different than GoPro uh, screws. They're flathead, so I think there might be a better grip. I've seen those before on the aftermarket cases for a GoPro and sticky mount. So if you want to mount it on a helmet, then uh, you can use that sticky mount, but it's a curved mount, so it's most likely for a helmet mounting, protected from scratches. And that's the magnetic mount that you can attach to the camera once it's in a cage. We'll, show, uh, we'll get there in a second. And the camera itself, there we go, that's the camera. It has a lens protector on it which is nice uh, because uh, if you ever crack this, uh, you can replace the guard and the lens guard is definitely helpful. Uh, on my other cameras, I also have the screen protectors on the back and the front and also on the lens itself. I probably will be looking to get that for this camera as well. So let's see if we can put that in the cage. So it opens here with the clip.
So that just slides in there by the looks of it. I'm not sure if that can be opened yet. I didn't look at any instructions. Uh, I'm the type of guy that hates instructions. <laughs> and it clips on to close. And at this point you can attach the magnet but you have to be careful because it goes only one way and it mounts really securely because it's not only magnet it also has two clips on each side what's nice about it if you ever want to if you ever want to take vertical video or pictures simply remove the mount and uh, move it on that side and it goes into a vertical mode I shoot mostly in a horizontal mode. I, uh, I don't, I'm not a fan of those uh, vertical videos. That's uh, the camera itself. What else do we get here in the, power, in the second box? So in the second box, uh, we're getting a charging cable. Oh, that's awesome. It even comes with the second mount. And I ordered a separate one that's, that's still on the way, just in case. I didn't know it comes in a package. So because it, I was thinking if I have it mounted on a, ca on a helmet, if I want to move it on a selfie stick, then I will need the second uh, magnetic mount. But uh, that's a well thought uh, way to go, uh, DJI. Third one won't hurt me anyway, so it's nice uh, to have a, an extra one because uh, I have different places that I'll be mounting this camera on. One more thing in the box here that I see, which is uh, the battery, three batteries. So that's a huge bonus. Uh, to have three batteries. Each battery lasts about 160 min minutes uh, of recording time as per DJI uh, when I looked briefly on a website. So that's uh, probably the most that I've seen uh, out of any action cameras uh, for recording time on each battery and they will charge up to 80% in 56 minutes. So that's a uh, very quick charging and uh, that storage uh, little uh, box is awesome. So you keep everything nicely. If you're riding on your motorcycle, you can just connect it to your uh, accessory adapter via USB-C charging cable and you can charge it uh, while one uh, two batteries while the one is in use on a camera i love this concept the, the way they did that and we have one more thing here oh that looks like it's a spare lens protector so that's uh, another wow I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed uh, that they supply a second lens protector just in case if you need it. I thought it, it should have come with the ND filters, but I don't think that this is it. I'll keep that in the package because I don't want that to get scratched. Let's check on a box here. Yeah, they don't mention anything on the ND filters. I think I've seen one of the videos that uh, somebody was showing that uh, they will come with uh, ND filters, which is not a deal breaker because uh, I don't use them that much uh, on the action camera. I will use them on my mirrorless camera, my Panasonic. Uh, but when I'm shooting on this, uh, I usually can easily go get away without the ND filters. So a couple things that uh, they mentioned here. So what's new on this camera, and it's got a huge sensor comparing to any previous cameras that I've seen, except for that one inch uh, Insta360. So this sensor is one over one three, and it can uh, shoot in a 10 bit D-log. So that's uh, if you want to do more color grading. So that's where that comes beneficial. I usually don't monkey around with that. I just keep the footage straight out of the camera and I add it uh, this way. There's not much color grading uh, to be done. Uh, the, the quality or even on my Insta360 is uh, very, very good, uh, especially when I'm recording at 4K and usually I'll record it either at uh, 4K, 30 frames per second or uh, 24 frames per second if I want to get it more cinematic uh, footage. Um, if you want to do a, a slow motion, so with this camera that it goes 4k it can record in 4k uh, up to 120 frames per second so you can slow your footage down quite a bit uh, i do that not too often i should be doing that more often sometimes but like it's a lot uh, sometimes when you're writing and filming those are the main functions here and let's see what else we got. Uh, we got probably a couple more things here. Of course, we got a couple DJI stickers. 
and uh, little manuals and so on for for the camera so when i initially ordered the camera i have purchased with that uh, dji care i figure it's uh, well worth it uh, i think it was only like 36 dollars uh, to purchase the dji care this way uh, for two years uh, you're fully protected if anything goes wrong with the camera uh, they will replace it uh, no questions asked uh, i also purchased that when i bought my drone and i sent the drone already twice actually believe it or not for and they replaced it uh, in no time dji care and customer service is normally pretty good i didn't experience any problems with them at all i'll mention a few other things uh, about this camera before i will take it on the actual test and see uh, how it really performs i mentioned already one over one third sensor 4k uh, 120 frames per second it has a horizon steady so it levels the horizon it can lock the horizon while you're tilting the camera uh, that's uh, something really nice uh, i already covered 160 minutes of battery life charging time 80 percent in 56 minutes what they also bumped up on this you can use a bigger capacity sd card so it can take up to 512 uh, gigabytes of storage uh, micro SD card and uh, the stick the selfie stick actually is very similar to the Insta360 the 360 mode with the app uh, you can make the video while you're holding the stick uh, to disappear so that's something if you want to play with uh, you can achieve that as well it has really wide field of view it's a 155 degrees field of view also uh, what's beneficial over this camera versus for example gopro uh, if you're recording with the app uh, you don't have a preview with the app on the action 3 or insta 360 camera you can preview what you're recording so let's say you have a phone mounted on your uh, handlebars on your motorcycle you can preview actually what uh, you're recording because uh, if the camera is mount if the camera is mounted on your chin so you can't really see the screen uh, what is recording and sometimes you want to point and shoot exactly at uh, what you are looking at it also has a better distortion correction and a performance in a low light uh, that's just because of that bigger sensor that uh, dji uh, is offering on this camera it can go up to 18 meters underwater for me it's awesome i as you know my channel is adventure travel in scuba so I do quite a bit of scuba diving, not so much this year. I think I have to start planning to head out and uh, go for a dive because I, I didn't even do one dive this year. Sorry guys, but uh, I was uh, too busy riding or doing other stuff. Magnetic mounts, uh, I already covered that. So that's a very quick release and uh, nice to uh, move it around if you're shooting the instagram or you making youtube shorts that's for vertical mode uh, can come in uh, very handy and uh, you can also adjust the sharpness and the noise right on a camera itself so the weight of the camera is comparable to any other action cams actually like it's um, very very light it comes at uh, 145 grams and uh, it has a 10 megapixel sensor and the photos, uh, what I can see, it only takes at 12 megapixel. So if you got a bigger sensor, I guess they, they can get away with the less megapixels. The Insta360 uh, boost lens, uh, it has uh, 48 megapixels. I don't remember how many megapixels on this one here on one inch, but I would say it has to be pretty close uh, to that as well. So this is it for now. And I will continue once I have it set up and mounted uh, on a helmet and I'll take my motorcycle on the right and i will see what kind of a video that will shoot all right guys uh, so i would like to show you one more thing how i have my osmo action 4 attached to the helmet in this case it's a schubert c3 i made more detailed video uh, last year or maybe even uh, further back i will link that uh, maybe at the end screen of the video so you can actually see that so basically i have chin mount attached uh, to the helmet with uh, double adhesive so i basically pancaked two different adhesives uh, to have a better 
curvature because uh, those chin mounts you actually buying designed to your specific helmet. I, I love this, uh, the best mount I ever had so far because everything else uh, was failing, even just a regular GoPro buy uh, mount was breaking. And with this one, there's nothing really to break because it is digitally printed. And if anything, you will break the actual shoe not uh, the insert that goes into the chin mount, not the actual chin mount. I'm using inside the helmet Sony stereo microphone, which is also attached with the Velcro, uh, double-sided Velcro. And the excess cable, as you can see, is wrapped up here around. And here I have connector uh, attached to the TRS jack so make sure it is a trs not trrs uh, the way i did it i made one extension here also the short uh, just a regular gopro extension this way you can make the field of view the way you want it so you can push it forward so to get uh, more of the bike or if you push it slightly up your your head is always like this anyway so that uh, you want to make sure that uh, you adjust it to the proper angle as well we'll see how this camera is going to perform i'm just gonna take it for a short spin so i'll see you guys shortly on the road so now since i unboxed the camera it is time to test it uh, my bike was parked uh, because i was waiting till just a couple days ago for the radiator cooling fan parts so I had to take the whole bike apart and uh, get that replaced uh, that took me basically I would say solid three four hours you know how it is uh, to disassemble the Africa twin to get into anything so today is the first time that I'm filming with my DJI Osmo Action 4 camera we will get the first uh, view of how is this camera performing and uh, I know the picture quality is really good uh, when I'm looking at it uh, but my biggest concern is the audio quality so right now I'm just leaving my community I'm heading towards Deerfoot trail in Calgary which is the um, like one of the main drags here and I will be able hopefully to drive around 100 kilometers per hour and right off the bat I uh, decrease the gain on a microphone uh, to do that you have to go to the pro mode under the settings I don't think it's available in uh, automatic mode I had to uh, decrease the gain uh, to minus six uh, to start with uh, when I was still running a quick test uh, before the ride because uh, at uh, the uh, default levels that the microphone was set it was uh, peaking way too much and now my main concern is how is the wind isolation gonna perform today is a little bit cloudy day uh, not much wind as you see all the trees they're not really moving there's a lot of other reviews on uh, how is the picture quality comparing to other cameras uh, I will not be doing that because uh, with the picture quality even out of my Insta360 cameras I'm quite satisfied. I gave you all the specs uh, just a few minutes ago when I was going over the unboxing of this camera. So I give you all the specifications and that camera is very very comparable to my Insta360 1RS 1 inch lens. That's a very similar sensor size and uh, both of the cameras they have stunning picture quality but uh, the main uh, advantage here that we have DJI implemented quite a few new features the battery life that they claiming 160 minutes uh, I don't think that's uh, realistic to be honest we will see but uh, not today because I won't be riding that long to kill that battery I'm just going to the store so right now my uh, helmet visor is closed and uh, now I can hear the wind on my helmet uh, even with my windscreen uh, higher up uh, so we'll see how is that gonna be because even with my Insta360 with the uh, game control down uh, that was uh, very noisy uh, there was a lot of noise when I was uh, vlogging on that camera the way I have the, my, my camera set currently is at 4k 24 frames per second uh, that's what the camera is set at because I usually set either the camera at 30 or 24 frames per second uh, to get the more cinematic kind of natural look versus uh, going into a higher frame also I have the all the horizon on the rock steady 
I didn't do the horizon lock. Uh, I did, that doesn't bother me. Uh, I will experiment that in, with this in the future a little bit more. So now, right now, the visor is open. The wind, more wind is coming to the helmet. So how is that gonna sound? I will play with the game control once I do the first ride uh, because uh, you can't tell nothing until you get to the video and then from there you, I would be able to manage actually what is going on uh, with the sound because uh, you can't hear the sound uh, how this sounds until the video is processed. Once you have it in Final Cut Pro or your editing software then you can see uh, on your audio level meter whether the microphone is speaking or it's behaving normally. I would like to finally get a camera that is gonna sound uh, quite nice uh, when you're riding or uh, in acceptable uh, levels. GoPro had the same issue even though people are claiming that it's good but I was using GoPro for many many years then I switched to the Insta 360 cameras because uh, I, I like those cameras they got way better battery life picture quality is great they cost less and uh, the Insta360 does a really good job with those so what's nice about those cameras that you have uh, replaceable lenses on that and uh, you can switch them between uh, 360 lens or 4k boost lens or just a one inch mode they do a lot of software updates, but uh, there's nothing new in the hardware similar to those cameras. I'm just curious to see what Insta360 is going to do next uh, after the DJI uh, is right now. I have a feeling that uh, right now is going to rule the market. The new GoPro 12 is going to come out. In my opinion, it's, it's not going to be as good as DJI camera. Uh, I'm done with GoPros a long time ago, I would say probably three. Or four years now the last GoPro that I had was uh, GoPro Hero 8 black a lot of people are sticking to GoPro just because of the name and their marketing but trust me guys other brands of cameras that are really really good I'm gonna close the visor now I also made, made the video on the uh, Insta360 uh, first when I bought it I was gonna switch the lanes here. Uh, DJI, uh, they are great at what they're doing. Uh, mostly they're specializing in uh, drones, as you know, and they're good at it. That was the short test of the DJI Osmo Action 4 with the mic adapter. So we'll see how is that gonna sound. If you enjoyed that video, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below and subscribe. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video as I will be filming more with that camera and uh, maybe I'll do um, one ride where I will compare the Insta360 ONE RS uh, 4K boost or even the one inch uh, you guys can let me know down in the comments if you would like to see a video like this um, because everybody is comparing this mostly to the Osmo Action 3 and uh, GoPro Hero 11 at this point so yeah I see you guys in the next video so one more test uh, standing up so to eliminate the clusters uh, in the, when I'm sitting down and now I got the wind coming in directly through the open helmet I'm eliminating the winch the windscreen on my bike now I just close the windscreen and uh, testing it that way with the helmet closed I will try to put that unedited I'm not gonna do any editing to the, uh, to the audio or anything out of this footage except for cuts so no color grading no nothing